Good evening. I'm Drew Gardner. Jail officials say the man died by suicide early this morning. His death marks six inmates in just 90 days, three so far this year. WLKY's Shaquille Lord spoke with city officials on what's being done to address this ongoing crisis. Leadership at Metro Corrections tells me after Sunday's most recent inmate death, they've got to revamp efforts to make sure this doesn't continue to happen. Director of Metro Corrections Dwayne Clark said Sunday afternoon there were no excuses after yet another inmate died inside the jail. And I want to assure you that me and my staff are working hard each day examining our processes. This is the sixth inmate death in the past 90 days. Three so far this year and three were suicides. Investigators identified the inmate who died early Sunday morning as Leslie Starnes. He was in the jail on a $5,000 bond after being arrested on a Bullitt County warrant for not paying child support. Uh, he was scheduled to be transferred to, to Bullitt County on Friday. They canceled their transport. During the press conference, several concerned residents held up written signs with the words, save lives and no more deaths. It's beyond frustration. It's really about uh, pain, deep pain. These are people's lives and these are people's families and they'll never be whole again. Clark says what will be looked at closely, the mental health screenings for inmates coming into the jail. We've challenged the mental health staff here to uh, increase some mental health professional hours um, and to examine their uh, questionnaire to, or a screening tool uh, to see if there's anything we can add to it to catch some of this. Calls have been growing louder these past few months for Director Clark to be fired. I asked him if he plans to resign after this. I have no comment on that. Metro Council President David James and a group of city leaders filed a resolution expressing no confidence in Clark and his staff earlier this week. He says he left Sunday's press conference feeling no differently. There needs to be a overall of the entire jail. Leadership of the jail, not include, not just Director Clark, the executive staff and Director Clark. Corrections FOP President Daniel Johnson says he agrees there needs to be a change. Despite a pay increase for starting wages from $17 an hour to 21, the department is short staffed more than 150 officers, which he says has an impact on routine checks. We need to get people in there. We need to get people supervised. We need a better evaluation system in place. Johnson and others hope that there is a solution and is found soon before another inmate dies inside the jail. Shaquille Lord, WLKY News.